Hello guys, we're going to show uh, hip exercises. This is very good to stabilize the hip, uh, work on recovery of uh, muscle strength uh, after injuries, low back pain. So you're going to work on pelvis and, and low back and hip muscles. All right, um, go ahead Anna and uh, get your foot into the strap. She's going to start with the hip abduction, pulling to the side. Again, the, the machine, the Kinexor is attached to this weight, or it could be attached to the furniture. Uh, you're going to pull straight out. Make sure you respect the stops. You do five second hold. Keep going to the next stop. So the, uh, the support leg is actually working really hard now. That is the challenge because it's throwing you off balance. If it's too hard, you can use this and support it on a chair or a table if you're working with the unit connected to the table leg. Make sure the cable is always pulling straight out and you don't relax the muscle at all. You always keep the muscle engaged. Uh, all right, so like that, you keep on going to find the, go beyond that burning. Obviously, those clearing those stops is gonna get harder and harder as you get tired. All right, just to show now, uh, you might release uh, and I'm going to have you turn facing facing me, facing the unit. Take that off, put the heel in here. Yep. And stand a little bit right next to the machine. There. So now she's going to work on extension. Glutes, hamstrings, and uh, obviously keeping the core engaged. So you work on the stabilization of your hips and pelvis. Again, the support leg is the one that's working really hard. This one as well, but this is the challenge for the support leg, the standing. Yeah. All right. Perfect, like that. By adding a little bit of knee flexion, you engage the hamstring portion a little more. It's a combined exercise. Hip extension for the glutes, hamstrings, Keep the core engaged so your low back doesn't suffer and you're working on the strength of all the extensors there and the inflexor. Great, okay, on the same way, you're gonna continue. Take it for as far as you can. Tolerate that burning and try to get muscle failure. That means when your muscle is just so tired that you can't possibly do one more rep. Great, okay. Go ahead and uh, switch over. And you're gonna be now, you're gonna be backwards to the camera or just to show, maybe turn around and do it with the other leg, just, just so you're facing the camera. Mm -hmm. You gotta step away a little bit and you're, you're gonna pull across now. So you work on adductors. Same way the challenge is on the support leg, on the standing leg. Good. Control the speed, great. The unit is guiding you to keeping you on the right timing. When you go through a click, it's because you're going too fast. All right, uh, same way like this. In about eight to 10 reps, you should be feeling like pretty intense uh, burning and fatigue of the muscle. Okay, that's good to show, all right. In the same position, just turn backwards, so you back towards me, towards the machine, facing away. You're going to be doing the hip flexor, and if you're brave enough, you can engage and do quads, quadriceps. Mm -hmm. Good. And now try to stretch the knee so you engage the quadriceps. All right, it's very difficult. Yep. All right. It's probably good enough. Yes. Again, if you feel like you're too wobbly, too unstable, just hold yourself. Maybe do it against the wall. So you, you know, with your hand, you support yourself on the wall. Stabilize yourself against with the with the wall or. We use a table next to you or maybe a chair. 
or if you're outdoors, you know, trees are available. Good, good. Uh, okay, we're gonna continue now with the hip training. Uh, I'm gonna show you key uh, two exercises that are key for the hip recovery: the internal and external rotation. So we're gonna have you lift the knee up, the same foot on the on the strap. The hip, the knee is held at the hip level, and now you're gonna push with your foot out to the side. Mm -hmm. Now it's the hip internal rotation. All five. Very challenging, very hard. Try to stay still uh, as straight as possible. On this one, I recommend that you do it initially with the support. Use a chair next to you or a table, something so that you can hold on to and keep your, your balance a bit more stable. Okay, good. Right, so you, you'll get to reach that muscle failure pretty quick on this one. Now change the foot and we're gonna show the internal rotation. Okay, so lift the knee up to the hip level in front of your hip. Keeping your knee right there, you're gonna pull across, pull your foot across the midline. Same thing, hold it, two, three, four, five, kick through. That's very hard. Okay, work on that, on those two stops there. One, two, three, four, five, keep going, exit. All right guys, like that, you keep on going till you reach muscle failure idea. Thank you.